Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome back to Dredge. Man, the last couple weeks have been kind of crazy. Uh, every day off that I had somehow got me sucked back into work. A um, couple huge cases, um, like newsworthy type cases. Uh, my particular case, fortunately, was pretty uh, stomach turning, to say the least. Uh, involve forensic interviews. So, for those of you that know what those are, that's what it was. Uh, but luckily, the person is behind bars at the moment. So, all right, let's. Uh, l enough about that. <laughs> We're here at Greater Morrow, and um, I was doing a little bit of research and reading through some comments. It looks like uh, I need to get the trawling nets to catch those jellyfish. But while I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of grind a little bit and get some more um, money put together. I probably want another thousand, I think. Uh, we'll also be reading this book passively while we're at it. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I'm also in the process of downloading, uh, I just purchased it, Dead Island 2, such as a sequel to an amazing game. So I'm looking forward to exploring that. It's not going to be as family friendly, I have a feeling, as this. But uh, yeah, it should be fun nonetheless. It's one of my favorite uh, zombie games uh, of all times. And I'm glad that, you know, a sequel came out. So I couldn't pass it up. All right, I wonder if this is going to be the shipwreck. This is on the uh, other side of the island of Little Morrow. It had an X on it. So I think we'll get this first. Let's see what this is first. It's going to be a little ring nothing special just your usual jewelry looks like old old iron chain that doesn't even seem that seems even less special okay let's see if this uh happens to be the belt buckle here yep there's the belt buckle okay let's uh Grab some more scraps while we're here. Maybe some more fish. I have room for some more scraps. I wonder if I can maneuver this stuff around a little bit here to make room. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we got four. room for any more so we'll head on back here where was that guy at see a little morrow uh, turn it to little morrow Father, there we go. Hello, is everything okay? Got the belt buckle for you. Give it back to him. Thank you, bless you. Return him to me. Please take this. Not anybody to pay you, but this might uh, hold some value for you. So we got a research part, which is uh, what we were looking for. That's good. Nice, nice. Take that. We'll try to get rid of uh, some of this other stuff here. Sell all the trinkets here for a whopping 825. We'll go to my store and go through this ship part up here. I think we have enough to research the nets now, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, it's been a couple weeks since I last played, unfortunately. Alright, I think I want to install these two and put the uh, trawling net on. Just purchased that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Takes two hours of time, but who cares? Grab the dock. So, let's throw this down here. There we go. Basic fishing pole. We can get rid of that.
I think we can pull this one off here. Put these over here. There we go. All right, let's head on back to uh, the Great Basin. Let's see if we can't maybe snag one of those. Uh, what was it exactly? That's cool. Okay. Yeah, we needed to uh, find the ring there, of course. We need to collect the samples. Um, the Aurora jellyfish, that was it. Alright, so. Alright, time to head on back. We got the trolley net. And uh, let's head on back. Early, early morning. Head back to Great Basin. Also completed that uh, belt buckle quest. And I'm very sure I think we kind of need to head over this general direction over here. I do want to come over here and grab my crabs, but I think it's just going to be a waste of time. And we have plenty of money as, we, as, as it stands right now. So let's head on back. Great Basin. Post haste. Uh, select the trawl net ability uh, to lower it. Net catches things as you move, but needs repairing every so often. So I guess they won't be to try it. Just to... there we go to get rid of that. Let you fish. Okay, so we got a fish there. Basin rather quickly. I wonder what we caught. Let's take a look. Hold on. I, do want, I am curious what we caught in the net. Just a cod. Oh, nothing too crazy. A plentiful basic. Um, yeah, we do have the uh, the traveling merchant to sell to, right? The fish monger. Be waiting for us over here. At least we can sell the car. So we're gonna have to uh, wait for nighttime for the Aurora jellyfish. I don't think they're available during the day. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do a little. Since it's just noon, do a little gathering of things here. I guess. Alright. Start dredging here a little bit. Get some scrap metal. Always, always good to have scrap metal supplies. Well stocked up. That's why I keep jumping in front of those. But hey. Time to get on in for the night. I think we'll seek refuge here at the research facility. Until the jellyfish come out. I should have access to my storage here as well. Oh, I don't have the storage. Okay. No big deal. Alright, well, let's undock. Drop. Oh, there they are. Okay. It's a. Uh, Let's drop the net. Let's so just cruise around a little bit here. Keep popping them. All right, maybe I need. Well, the Aurora is out, so I'm gonna circumnavigate this basin here and head over. What I get? I got something. What I pick up? Fireflies. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Secondary goal. 
is to not get killed by. Hold on one second. Oh, it's getting into Dog is eating a pen. That's a no-no. What do we got over here? Something glowing. Expect this. Stone hums quietly. Yes, we've seen this before. Place my hand on the stone. Nothing happens. Oh, Aurora Jellyfish. We got it. All right. We did it. Let's head over here to the lights. To the fishmonger. And we'll bed down for the night. Then we'll head over to the research facility, complete out that quest, and see what, uh, what the scientists can do to help us. As the mystery tornado doesn't quite get to us. Here. Let's not sell our uh, squid, though. We could sell this. Yes, yeah, so we'll sell that. Sell the firefly squid. There we go. Well, we're going to keep that one. Wonderful. All right, my storage. Let's get rid of some of this stuff over here. Looks pretty good to me. All right, let's go ahead and rest for the night. Undock and head on over. All right, let's, let's go talk to the researcher about the specimen. Yes, we got them all. Stand by. Thank you. It looks like you caught all the surface specimens I need, but ah, uh, yes, I do also need some from deeper down. Of course, it wasn't over. But that's going to be a problem. Why is that a problem? I don't have any. Yeah, that's. I don't have any equipment. I already know why it's a problem. I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea how to keep uh, the creatures at bay for long enough to collect these samples. But while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts carefully. I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want you, being, uh, I wouldn't want you to be out on the reef at night. Is there anything else? No. Nope. Let's see where we're supposed to go here. Interesting mark. Oh, yes. Right there. Of course. Um... So I think we're safe. She said that she developed something to keep it at bay. So part of me thinks we can make a run for it. All right, we'll soon find out. Um, maybe I should sleep just to save the game. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna hang here for a day-night cycle. Just to save the game. Day 33, huh? Alright. There we go. Now, if we get killed, at least we're starting from right here. After completing that quest. Alright, let's go to the lab. Alright, so now we know what we're looking for. Uh, let's look around here. Okay. Ah, we found it. There it is. That's it. I think we're done. We'll look on the floor just in case there's something else there, like a research part that wasn't there before. Alright, let's undock and head on back.
yeah. We're still gonna be on time for lunch. No worries. No worries. Got the prototype parts. Excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from the much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some uh, improvements. Okay. So we have a sampling device for abyssal. Okay. I guess we can put this over here for now. I just put it in my storage. Yeah, it goes straight to storage. Okay, we'll put it in our storage. Now I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. Should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it. I'm not sure. Connected to the connected to the researcher's outpost post generator. You'll have to return and re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. Oh, okay. Well, let's go do that. Okay, so now we need a snailfish, a loose jaw. These all look terrifying. A giant uh, amphipod, an anglerfish. Okay, you can see why they call it anglerfish. It looks like he's got a fishing pole coming off his head. So, remember you want to. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll run out of that. Anything else about the specimens? You want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect those. Uh, you might also need. To improve that equipment I gave you to catch some of these so I need to make some improvements to it to some of them are, are not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to catch it without an improvement obviously okay very good oh I thought I was already reading that nope I don't know why I have to just click it it should like once the books there and I'm not reading anything else it should just automatically start reading the passively but hey whatever okay anything else um nope Well, we finally found our sea monster repellent. Alright, let's bed down here for the night. As creepy as this place is. The generator. Researcher's repulsion machine could be connected to the outpost generator here. I think we will do that. Small object rolls out from under the generator, covered in dried salt. Another research part, yay! Oh, yeah, let's put that over here. Activate the machine. Uh, not right now. We'll wait till morning. Or, yeah, we'll wait till morning. She said don't do it during the nighttime. So, let's, uh, okay, I should be able to. Okay, I just want to make sure that I can go back in there and choose again if I wanted to. Let's, uh, rest. There we go. Okay, now we'll go over here. Activate the machine. We have to come back every couple hours, so I'm guessing we're right around 8 o'clock or so. Good morning. Hums to life. Wor uh, hums and worse to life. A few seconds later, bright light shoots from the top, and an alarm begins blaring. The researcher said it should, should keep the creature at bay for a time at least, or enrage it, is what she really said. Okay, let's head on out here. See what happens. Oh, you know what? Do I need to install? I need to install that deep sea thing. All right, well, we're going to have to reactivate this. I completely forgot to do that. Do I have to go to the shipwright to do that? Or can I just do it myself? I wonder. Yeah, I got to go to the shipwright, don't I? Man, that thing is loud. You can hear it all the way on the other side of the... Uh, the uh, base in here. Ah, uh, shipyard. Is this where I can uh, repair it? Let's see here. Repair all, yeah. There we go. Oh, much better. Proofed outboard engine now operational. So, one of, I lost one of the engines. Yeah. Okay. Can I buy another engine? I'm just curious. Ooh, a twin prop engine. That sounds fast. 15 plus. That sounds better. That seems like a better engine. I kind of want it. 36. I want to buy this engine because I want to go fast. I want to go fast. Yeah. Two storage. 
Yeah, we can sell it. Yeah, let's sell it. It's uh, storage. Yeah, let's go to our storage. Let's install this. To cargo. Yeah, let's install it. Four hours. Like I said, we're wasting a day here. Uh, let's get rid of the trawling net for now. To storage. Head over to storage, grab our new thing. Where's that? There it is. Cargo. Uh, I gotta put it over there, huh? Okay. We're gonna have to do some switcheroos. I'll install it from here. Can I put it over here? Will it let me? Apparently it will. I wasn't sure because this is now looking like nets. Oh, it's a net and a hook. I got you. Um, I think I can just... Yeah, I should be able to... Drop it right here, right? Yeah. There we go. I think we're all set up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I don't know why that would have worked. Catchable fish types. Yeah, quite a, quite a few, honestly. Yeah. Hey, can I put this over in storage? Yes, I can. Do that. Oh, we got four of those things? Yeah, four. That's good. I want to save those until uh, I, I really need a, a, a specific upgrade for now. Um, maybe after this episode, I'll take a look, look around offline. Yeah, this, this engine does go a little bit faster, doesn't it? All right, let's try to skin here. Turn on the generator. All right, so we maybe have until about uh, 1130 before we maybe need to get out of this deep zone here. There's a red dot coming from this, so I'm gonna go for this right here. Some little red dots coming. All right, let's go for it. Oh, I don't have the right equipment for that. That's the that's the extra deep one, apparently. Um, where else can I go? As long as I don't, uh, let's go for this one right behind us. All right, let's see what we get here. The sextant. Okay. I don't think that's one of the things we needed. It's not a fish. Okay, I guess that was an object. It wasn't a fish, so I probably should have known better. Let's get ready to reactivate this thing. So I thought it was going to be done at 11:30, but it's still going strong. So it looks like it goes more than a couple hours. Let's go ahead and reactivate it here. I think we just reset the timer on this, so I think we're good for another fishing trip here. Let's go grab fish out of the middle. Ah, that's not the right kind. A doll. What about this? Can I get these? Nope. That's more objects. Shoot. None of these. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch any of these. Well, now I'm all over where I was before. Yeah, well, I might as well grab it while I'm here. All right, some earrings. Not what I'm looking for at all. All right, let's have that. It lasted most of the day. for bonuses. So we finished reading the book. Maybe it doesn't have to be in the center there. Maybe it's just like way out in the ocean. I gotta start looking for these. So let me do a little research on these. It's gonna be hard to sleep, isn't it? <laughs> With this going on. Can you imagine trying to sleep next to this? Well, 
Wow, it lasted like a long time, like half a day, if not maybe a little more. Right. So I don't think I need to actually fish right here. I think this is just like my overall objective. I, think I need to basically be fishing out around the, the deep areas here. Let me, let me double check the, uh, the mission here. can't sell these right now, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. Select all samples. Angler fish, stoplight, loose jaw. Yeah, I think these are just gonna be right out random. In random areas. So let's go check some areas away from center here. Maybe out in the ocean here a little bit. Oh, you know what? We got the, uh, the encyclopedia. I wonder if it's going to tell us. Uh, abyssal. It's not really... Stellar base rod. Rod. Here's the angler fish. Rod stellar base in daytime and nighttime. Okay. That's the, the loose jaws or whatever it was called. Daytime. So, uh, yeah, I think we just go out and find these various abominations. <laughs> Let's start with that. Let's see what type this is. Alright, so yeah, it had a little red, it had some little red uh, bubbles coming off of there. So, indicating that that's maybe what I want to look at. And it looks like it is going to be the anglerfish. All right, so we got one of those. Uh, he takes up a lot of room. He takes up a... Uh, he's a big boy. Was that a trophy one, or was that just a regular one? Yeah, I don't have room for another one, so I might as well just leave that alone. All right. Well, this looks like shallows. Um, kind of want to head over this way a little more. Let's see if we can see some red dots from afar here. Let's see some bubbles. Oh, dolphins. Nice. Yeah, this isn't what we're looking for, but... I mean, we could, just, we could fish it just for fun. See what we get. It's going to be a new discovery. A barrel eye. Okay. Uh, well, let's do another one. What the heck. I think we'll go to the researcher, drop off this one, and then we'll head over and sell these, I guess. All right, let's keep exploring what the... Deep waters have. Uh, see, we got some red dots here. It's gonna be one of our missions, mission catches here. Which one? Loose jaw? Yeah, I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, loose jaw. He's got an interesting shape too. Okay, we got one of those. All right, let's head on back to her. Drop these off. Uh. It's gonna be shallows. I don't think it's gonna be anything too special. Well, we've got two of them. Uh, this might be enough for her to tell us how to do the improvements, I guess. What do you need? Uh, about the specimens? Remember, you want to tell AI already. I also need to improve the. See, she said I needed to install the equipment before attempting to collect those. That's why I thought it was in the middle, but I collected these out in just normal waters. At least these two. So, uh, that's Hadal. Okay, so I need to do an improvement on it somehow. Yeah. Okay. So that's where it's at. We can sell this stuff at the right dealer. Let's go put this in our storage once we get over to the fishmonger. So we're going to have to figure out how to upgrade that over there. Alright, well yeah, I figured out that I was missing the research here. I forgot it was right here. Uh, but I did come over here and offloaded the uh, sextant and some earrings to the uh, junk dealer. So I got a little bit of money for that. And then I also found um, yeah, I found this. I didn't. I had the golf flounder here, and I just shouldn't have had that. What I should have done is 
should have... Let's put this into storage. I found the black grouper. That's the one I needed. So now we complete this order here. It made us 103. Wasn't that big of a deal, but... I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. So I guess I had to... Oh, I was coming in and happened to stop on a spot. Picked up the uh, black grouper. Uh, so that's how I found it. Yeah, so we got... He's telling me about crab pots. I guess he's uh, giving me a crab pot. I'm going to put it over there. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that right now, I don't think. But I do have some uh, mackerels. And this lumpy mackerel, this trophy mackerel... I'm going to offload here for a little bit of money as well. Alright, well, let's buy this. We're definitely collecting a lot of a lot of different types of equipment, fishing equipment here. Um, I picked up that I picked up that weird fish today. Holy cow, that's worth a lot of money. Man, I need to do a missile fishing more often. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll sell that thing. Ghost shark. How cool. Okay. Well, now let's go to the shipyard. Purchase that weird looking thing for 405. Ugh. Okay, I guess I need it. Put it in, into our storage. We'll uninstall this one. Put that into storage. Uninstall this. Put this over here, I guess. Head over to storage, grab uh, this one. Let's go to cargo. And now we should be able to, yep, there it is, head all. Finally. All right, we got it. Let's get going here. We got that all hooked up and ready to go. Uh oh, we don't want to cross. We don't want to go across the middle right now. There's no sirens. We got to go around there, activate the generator real quick. I'm ready to do some uh, creepy crater, underwater crater fishing here. The sea monster. So once I get these samples, I wonder what she's going to want from me. Seems like she's asking a lot of us. She better give us something now. Something worth, worth our while for our quest here. Activate the machine. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and undock. There we go. All right, let's do this. I think we're ready to go catch them now. Let's look for ones that have little red dots or something indicating they're special. This, like this. This, this looks like it's special. Snailfish, that was one of them. Right? Uh, I might as well go grab the other one. Oh, there's one right there. See the red bubbles? Wait, this is... This isn't fish. I don't know what that is. Shapes in the deep. Let's check it out. Seems important. A jewel encrusted band. Turn to the collector. I keep calling them junk. Yeah. The junk guy or whatever. Oh, here we go. I bet you this is what I need. Or is this? Am I right back to the snailfish again? That's snailfish. I don't know. Oh, here's some. I think over here. This looks different. It's snailfish again. Well, stop giving me snailfish. All right, let's try this. These look weird. That might be it. Yeah, I don't think that was it. Hold on. Let me check. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay, so we got what we needed. I guess I might as well fish one more. Am I getting greedy? All right, let's head on. Let's head on back. Might go into the... Might go into the, uh... 
crater there and continue to search a little bit more. Alright, so we got them. There's one. There's the other. Good news and bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can't take any more bad news. I guess good news. I phoned uh, on, in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. Oh, I don't even care. Bad news is samples of your tree from the basin are of dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. It's all points to one thing. The basin is uh, harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. I need to write up a report of my findings. Sorry. Our, our, sorry, our findings immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me and I've not so much to say. Thank you. Uh, with, um, you should have this. She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. Something I wrote down in my, during my studies. I think it'll be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I'd recommend that you avoid this area. Uh, avoid the area. It doesn't seem to be safe. Uh, it doesn't seem safe to be near the basin. I don't care. I'm going to go fishing there. Some awesome looking fish in there. So, let's see what is going on with our mission now. Search for relics. It says it's the book that we were... Found a ring, necklace, watch. Alright, let me do a little bit more fishing here. Um, and I'm going to sell the fishmonger. See how much money we can make out of the center there. So tomorrow, I'm just going to spend a day fishing just for some cash here before we head back. And I'll just warp back to uh, drop off the ring and go on to the next mission. Alright, we'll rest here for the night. And we'll head back and talk to the collector in the morning. at the collector's place. Oh, that made it very convenient, didn't it? Let's go drop this off here. I don't know why I'm doing all these missions for this guy. Which from the but whether they uh, take a look at these trinkets. Oh, is it because it's in my storage? Standby. My storage. Yeah, bring it out. I think I need to actually have it on my boat, don't I? There we go. Alright. Remove from inventory. You walk in and place the jewel-encrusted ring on the table by the collector's eyes widen. <sighs> We're certainly making excellent progress now, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction, but uh, for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. Okay, right. He opens a crimson book, uh, spines cracking audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. You hear a growling. I got a, a banish ability. Fire off a blazing light of something. You hear a growling, crackling in your ears. Suddenly, your vision flares, and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. You must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of... The detritus swallowed by the silty muck of the twisted strands channels. It's worth investigating. Mark our location on your map. We can begin your search. Anything else? Oh, yeah, I guess so. The words you read from that book, what do they do to me? The cold's power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one particular, one in particular you wish to know more about? Um, banish, yeah. Banishing words will provide you a temporary protection from most things. If spoken swiftly enough, they can be used defensively. Choose your moment carefully. The more they are spoken, the more they are understood. Hmm. There Are there other powers you wish to know about? Nope, not really. What we do once you have all the relics? He ponders. Hmm. Surprising, isn't it? The attachments we hold towards simple objects, but they are anything but simple, seemingly mute articles that can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, would you be awash with forgotten memories? They hold the power to recall 
what was once lost. Anything else? Oh, could you be any more cryptic and vague? What do you know about the old mayor of Little Morrow? That stirring, stuttering little fool. Yes, I knew him. He joined us uh, on the water sometimes, but was more a hindrance than help. He never seemed entirely with it. I can't imagine he has fared too well since I last saw him. Anything else? Uh, nope. Let's do it. Workshop. One side. It's locked. Still locked. Okay. Well, where do we need to go now? Oh, Twisted Strand. That place looks like a freaking maze, but it looks like there is some sort of dock right here. And it is pretty early, so I say we go for it, right? Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's head out that way. I think we need to kind of go past our old town here. Let's do haste. Haste! Ah, uh, quake the good old days. Lots of, lots of fish. Having a good old time out here now that I'm no longer around. So there's steel point. We can obviously go there if we need a reprieve. There's gonna be three islands here that we kind of pass through on the way there, which is right here. Okay. Okay, there's a little ship here or something. Is that a shipwreck or an actual ship? Not sure. It's an actual ship. Why are you making creepy sounds, dude? What's up with this? Pull alongside a boat at anchor. There's signs of life on board. Nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door opens up. A uh, slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? The uh, fisherman? What do you want? Just check and see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Morrow, but I'm being stuck. Oh, jeez. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep... Oh, great. Deep waters. I've seen it. It, <laughs> it hung in the water escaping mouth just below the boat I would have swallowed the vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain I could deliver the package for you you would well that would work I guess all right so I guess we're doing this now courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole it squelches slightly as you take it in your hands dark fluid oozes from one color a quarter thank you strangers bound for dock worker at little morrow not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest whispers coming from it. Now I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Again. Um, it, an item emerges from the door hole. This time a book is pushed through this, uh, and thuds on the deck below. You pick it up. Be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Well, now let's go ahead and activate the book. Uh, getting over. Okay. So I'm still reading this one. All right. Well, I guess we're heading back to Little Morrow now. So much for that. And I better be ready to read the words. Uh, is it banish? Okay. So I'm going to put haste on, but if I need to, I'm going to switch over to... I have a feeling Leviathan is keying in on whatever's in this box. Should I, I should probably do a little fishing here real quick. What's this? Yeah, yeah. Let's grab this. I want to be right there anyway. Might as well make a little extra money. Alright. Yeah, it's probably it's going to be like worth $8. I think is what it was last time. $8 and change. Alright. Be prepared, guys. Need to be ready to speak the words. Now I wonder if a Leviathan is actually back of course where we we're headed anyway. And these waters are actually safe. Yeah. Seems like we're okay. What do we got here? Eh, I don't really need any more scrap at this point in time. Just 
wood. Well, so much for this day. Plans just got blown up, didn't they? There's a little side mission. Was it the traitor? No, it was the doctor. That's right. Got a package for you, brother. Takes the large package and exa examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one of your listens and seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you excuse me, wish me luck. Turns and hurries off the dock. Not another word to you or compensation. Okay. I guess we got a book out of it. What's going on with the grieving father? Does he need more help? No. Okay. Well, let's see out. Well, you know what? Let's do some fishing while we're here. I mean, um, I could do some deep fishing over here. Do some of this oceanic or whatever. These tend to pay a little better. Oh, did I lose? Yeah, they disappeared. They went away. Nighttime and all. What is this? Yes, I do. I got I got equipment for everything. What are you talking about? All right, let's grab another one of these. You know what? I should have sold my uh, ring I picked or the chains I picked up. Yeah, we got a gold ring. Okay, so we got a doubloon, a gold ring, and a iron thing. Let's head back to uh, tomorrow. Yeah, the the new lights aren't too bad, are they? What's with this? We'll grab some of these. Ooh, it's a mutant one. I guess that's what that meant. I need to pay attention to the bubble colors a little bit more. I'll just deplete this out of it because I don't care. Okay, there we go. Alright. We got things for tomorrow. Maybe I'll just run across and sell it now. Probably probably do that. Sell all the trinkets for 41. There we go. Starting to reaccumulate our wealth a little bit. I think that's everything that I need, right? I don't need to put anything in storage. Nope. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and. Nope. Let's, let, let's not do that. Let's let rest. Let's just zoom across. Let's grab some more fish while we're here. Now that we got rid of some chickens. Fill this boat up. Another weird one. Snag squid. Brood squid. Okay. Hoping for a trophy. That's about it for us. And we could probably get that crab pot too here in a minute. The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock wearing a questioning expression. <gasps> Must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever you're looking for? Almost. She shifts her weight and leans hard against her staff. How can you be so sure last time you thought you knew? And look what happened. Why is she being such a negative Nelly, man? She turns to you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. Oh, well. What are you going to do? You can't lose everybody. 191. I think that might be our biggest uh, catch yet. And it was all, like, stuff I could have caught, like, a long time ago. Just some a couple of uniques, I think, is what really brought the price up a lot. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, all right. We're up to almost $1,200 again. Good. Let's undock here. Go grab the stuff out of this. Oh, a fiddler crab. Well, hello to you. I would grab. I just grab all these. Yeah, I gotta do each one separately, it looks like. Needs repaired. Uh, pick this up. We'll go get it repaired. Toss it back out there again. Let's offload here. I don't think. Do I have anything that I needed crabs for? I thought maybe there was something. One common clack crab, one fiddler crab, um, fish barter. Okay. So I guess I'm going to be able to uh, complete that quest. Yeah, I do, actually. There we go. And one of those. So 67 for that, huh? Hey, dude, glad you got some more use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyard, yes. One final request, as you see some fish around here can develop uh, deformities. I think it happens to a person that eats flesh of one of these mutants. Um, 
They go mad. <laughs> well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep it this oh, I just brought you a bunch of mutant fish. Right over there. They're sitting on the table right next to you. This just, just between the two of us. Alright, whatever, dude. <laughs> Sell those two crab for eleven dollars. Alright, well, they're out of my inventory, that's what matters, right? And um Oh yeah, I need to repair repair those net or the crab pot. I buy a couple more. Since we're here. Okay, that's where I can't. Here. Oh well. Maybe I won't. Alright, let's get ready to drop the crab pots. There we go. Alright, off we go again. We're gonna try try again. Sounds like um uh, That's not what I want. That's what I want. Haste. Let's try to make it back across here again. Maybe I should stop by and tell this person I made the delivery. I don't know. Maybe they'll do something more for us. Gotta be ready to say the words, though, as we uh, cross here. Oh, the boat's gone. Leviathan got it, after all. Got some trinkets and stuff there. I'm gonna make a run for it here. A little nervous. But we're gonna see if we can make it over to this dock. I see something over here, it looks like a dock. Yeah, I don't see any of the wife. I'm gonna do a little fishing. Uh, that's oceanic. I don't have the right equipment. Yeah, okay. Oh well. It's getting all hazy and stuff over here. Yeah, that's an interesting doc. This is gonna be my my traveling fishmonger. A traveling merchant. Rickety pontoon. Yep, that's exactly Tra traveling merchant. Uh, what can you tell me about this place? Uh, not much to be honest. Got inside just once. Sailed through that lagoon behind us. And saw I could go left, right, or straight ahead. Something about the place seemed off. Through the fog it looked like trees were moving? Can't explain yeah, trees do move. The wind. Turned around and sailed right back out. Sometimes use this spot to rest up for a few days. Sunrises are particularly striking through the haze. Never do anything. Never do any regular regular business here, of course. Okay. Anything else you want to talk about? Not really. Okay. I think that's about it, right? What are we supposed to do here? Hmm. Just to do some adventuring. 57% complete through the book there. Yeah, he just wants a mutant fish, rare fish, the basics, and then we're trying to find the necklace. So we're looking for the necklace. All right. Well, let's do a little exploring. What's that over there? It's a plane crash. Really? Well, that's pretty cool. And there's something, there's some glowy gold bubbles next to it. All right, I'm, I'm curious. How do I get around to that? Yeah, it looks like I could have went this way. All right, eh, let's go. Let's just go in here. What the hell is that? You guys hear that? A little pop sound? I'm feeling I should maybe rest here and save here. Why does that look like a trap? All right. Yeah, we're gonna rest here. I have a feeling I might be loading a save. We'll stay here for the for the night.
There we go. Alright. Let's try heading off now. That looks like it's meant to just slam boats into the ground. Like, don't, don't go underneath. What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. It is hazy like all the time. Oh, it's a mangrove. That's right. See, there is an upgrade I can get now for mangrove fishing, and I think I need it. Oh, crap. Weird stuff's coming after me. Order barrel? Okay. Yeah, just scrap it. Yeah, it's kinda trip kinda kinda trippy. This place is weird. Alright. Well, let's go back there and see if I can get the mangrove fishing stuff going. Um, do I need it here? No. I'm okay here. Oh, the, tro the trophy one didn't make it in time. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's a, it's a weird, it's just, this is the weirdest timing. One right here. Gotta really wait for it to get there. All right, there we go. We're just jumping the gun a little too much with it. All right, let's see how much these are worth. Well, spent the day going around in a circle around this tiny little island. So. This place looks like it's going to be different, uh, difficult. You need to pick up your crab pots every now and then to bring them in for repair. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's right. You buy the crab pots at the market. I keep thinking you got to buy them at the shipwright or whatever, where you buy all your rods and stuff. Go figure, you know, that would only make sense. So this is only worth $75. It doesn't seem worth it. All right. I need to figure out how to... Can I upgrade this to the... I think I can. Let's take a look here. Oh, sorry. My dog is hyper. Give me one second here. He's just running around in circles. I don't know what's up with him. It's a mangrove. Um, I need to upgrade this one. Yeah, if I want to do anything here, I need to upgrade this one. All right, well, luckily we have enough research parts. Okay, well, anti-tangle line. I guess that's why it looks like braided line or something. I think maybe I'll let him outside real quick. Give me a minute. All right, so now I need to purchase the uh, rod that I bought here. Oh, uh, there it is. It's all shiny. I like that, okay. I'll keep an eye out for it though. You gotta look look at the It's gonna take three of these spots. I could probably shallow, coastal shallow. I could probably get rid of this, right? Or do I wanna keep that? Hmm. Let's try getting rid of these two. Mangrove and coastal. Let's try uninstalling these two. Throwing this one on. There we go. That's nighttime. We're obviously just going to sleep here. There we go. All right. Well, let's do a little exploring now. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. This place looks creepy. I'm pretty sure this thing will kill me if I swim under it. I'm going to try it, but it's definitely going to kill me. Okay. Well, that was weird. Uh-oh. 
I think sending bad vibes. What is this? A sergeant fish? Okay. Oh, he's hitting me. Oh, no. Just took some halt damage here. Okay, I thought I was safe while I was fishing, but apparently it was after me. What's with the... I need to, I need to utter the words, I think. Wait, what happened to my catches? To the birds. I lost it to the birds. Oh. Well, that was weird. <laughs> okay, well, they're gone now. So. Can I have at least a couple fish for dinner? That's all I'm asking. Give me a trophy. It's not going to happen. Probably depleted. Yep. Depleted that supply there. So, when I went to go that way, the mangroves came up and blocked my path. So I couldn't escape, which was kind of interesting. And I'm sure I took some haul damage, so let's head back here. Something slithers into your cargo hold? Okay, that's a first. Well, let's go to the fish market. What the heck? A, sur this, a weird sergeant fish. All right, let's sell these. <laughs> Put that in the storage. All right. I feel like I should get some crab pots and just put them out here because that'll probably do to me a lot better. Um, man, here's my damage right there. So let's head on over to the uh, floating, oh, not floating dock, the uh, chip here and repair all this. Weird. Okay. Well, let's let's go see what. What else we can get into here? Is that that looking that weird looking tentacle thing over there? I need to kind of stay away from that. I don't think it likes me very much. This is some sort of weird sawfish. It's a gar. Oh, nice. Okay. I almost said gar. Get back for nighttime. Place creepy enough during the day. This isn't even the last island group either. Something tried to turn off all my lights and freak me out, but I was already here. Oh yeah, that's a good that's a good payout right there. Good good stuff. Okay. So Fish market. Um, do I want one of those or do I want to like upgrade? I don't think I really want to spend the research on upgrading just nets. You know, I think that's what I have to do to get better nets. Yeah, I don't really want to. Yeah. Two to three per day, two per day. Not sure, not sure. Should probably give you like 10 per day or something. Trawling net. A good coastal one to do. Other things. So, uh, so basically, these just allow you to like cruise around at normal speed without haste, I think. And then, yeah, because you've got to have it deployed. And then, uh, well, maybe you can deploy it like a light. You know, you can turn on the light and then do haste with the light on. Maybe you could deploy this and then switch back over to haste and just have this thing in the water all the time. Picking up stuff for you. Might actually be worth it. Nice way to passively fish. I kind of like doing my own fishing, though. This thing does everything. Yeah, it does. Literally does. So it takes four research points. But I might need Oceanic for the Fathomless Winch. All right, well, let's definitely rest. I'm going to try to make it into where the X is, towards the center. Tomorrow, we're going to cast off here and try to make it in. Turn on my lights. Okay, here we go. I don't like this. Yeah, it looks like I just go straight through here. There's the weird tentacle thing. 
Don't be chasing me. Leave me alone. What's this thing? It's telling me to go that way. Am I being followed? I don't know. I'm trying to avoid that thing. Yeah, I need to go this way. Oh. That's so messed up, man. You tricked me. My head, my lights have uh, been damaged. Alright, let's... Oh, it's like a maze. Well, I got... Hey, another message, finally. Oh, this is really mazy. I think we're back to the yeah. Nope. Oh, this place is a maze. Holy smokes. Okay, so these, these signs really do mean, like, go this way to get out of it. He's putting up a... Uh... Okay, it went away. Did you see that? The, there was a... There they go. They just went up. Almost out. Okay, this place is crazy. Crazy. I'm out, finally. Jeez. That was crazy. All right. <laughs> I need to get my light repaired badly, especially here. This looks like the one thing you don't want to damage, and I straight up, it. I didn't realize it was ground, but it was really just real shallow. Let's head on back here. And I'll have to figure out how to navigate through here a little bit better. I need a new hall, honestly. I got, four, I got everything I need there. To pay for it. Tier 2 hall adds five new cargo spaces. That seems really good. One additional impact. I might need that. Let's do that. Um, I need some wood out of storage. And then 500 buckaroos. Which we can afford, so yeah, let's do that. Oh, of course. Repair the damage. Hmm. It's just my light. I don't know what that has to do with my haul, but hey, whatever. Right, and then what can we do from here? Do cargo spaces to the haul. Engine space. Crowd spaces. 300 plus some stuff. There we go, tier two hall upgrade. All right, we did it. So let's take a look at, take a look at the boat. Oh, wow, it did get bigger. All right, it added these five right here. Nice, nice. I got this bolt of cloth, I got some wood. I probably need another piece of wood, I think. Yeah. Let me discard that, some rot of some kind. I don't know, maybe we'll keep it. Might need it for something strange. Alright, let's get some rest. Somehow we survived that. I said the words and it disappeared for a little while at least. Alright guys, well, I'm going to end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Somehow i got to figure out a way to make it into the center of this place. I can zoom in a little bit, but can't. Alright. Y'all take care. I'll see you in the next one.